All right, so let's dig into this. I've worn this marsupial gear bird vest for over a year, starting pre-season, leading up to through shooting season, and then all the way through upland season. And now that I've lived with it for a year, uh, I've got some uh, some additional thoughts. I mean, the main thing is here on, on this vest, um, as you can tell, if I bring it close in, even though I've worn it across literally hundreds of miles, it shows zero wear and tear. There's a little bit of blood I could clean out of the game vest and got some shells in it still, holes. But for the most part, in terms of construction, couldn't be happier. The vest is very well constructed. I don't see any wear on seams. Places where you'd kind of look for that would be in the shoulders where there's a lot of rubbing action going on or around the waist belt. I don't see any of that. So in terms of construction, it's a really well-built vest. And of course, it's got decent functionality with the Molly system. Uh, so you can move these pockets and you can see that I've done some of that. I actually removed the additional uh, water bottle holder. So I didn't really need that. So I tried moving things around to customize the vest uh, for my liking and the way I hunt. And you can tell, it, I and I also work with the straps quite a bit. Uh, trying different configurations on how the straps fit with me but this is kind of the configuration I ended up with which is I like the my shell pocket being where I'm not too deep and not too high you don't want to t-rex arm that thing um, and then I was strapping my camera here with a mount uh, so that's kind of where I ended up uh, in terms of the configuration you can kind of see how that fits on me. Now, having said all that, this particular vest, Marsupial Gears Bird Vest, is really set up to be much more like a backpack, in my view. Uh, you've got this waist belt, which is fairly substantial compared to a lot of other vests, and what that's meant for most folks would be, and especially with this big buckle, is if you were looking at this in terms of the backpack, you would want that waist belt strapped across the top of your hips so that when you load the vest, it is pushing down on your hips and not your shoulders. Now, here's the problem with that for me, just in terms of my particular preference. I do not like the feeling of constriction around my waist when I'm bird hunting because I feel like it doesn't allow free swinging, especially with the shotgun. It just feels like I've got somebody hugging me, you know, uh, right there. Like it just doesn't let me feel like I'm free enough. So I don't like strapping down the waist belt that tight. Uh, even though that's probably what it is meant for. I don't like that feeling. I don't want that feeling. I want to be able to feel free movement here across the waist. So when I loosen that belt back up, and I've got these uh, bad boys, so if they move. So this is more comfortable for me to feel like I want to feel the weight in my shoulders but and, and I don't want to feel a whole lot of constriction around my waist and hip line so that feels more comfortable to me in terms of free flowing and moving and walking and also anytime you have something tight on you it holds heat and early season bird hunting I don't like the feel of having a sweaty band around my waistline. So anyways, having said that, here's where I think things went off the rail and could possibly be the fatal flaw in this vest. If you look at 
the way I configure it and the way I want to walk with this vest on. When I simulate weight in the back, and I'm just going to show you a simulated weight by pulling it down. When I simulate weight in the back, this vest, pull, the, the yoke pulls back. It wants to slide up, and it wants to slide the waist belt up. So here's where I want it when I'm walking. I want that buckle right about where my belt buckle would be for me. Again, I know that that's not for everybody, but that's how I want to feel. But when I add weight, what's happening is, is that thing is riding up. And it, quite frankly, was driving me crazy. I tried every level of adjustment with the straps, changing the distance on the straps in the back. And part of the issue is, is I walk with a lot of weight in my vest all the time. I've got a three liter bladder in the back normally for the dogs. So I'm carrying three liters of water. Uh, I'm generally carrying a camera with substantial weight on it. Uh, and it depends on where I can figure it. As you can tell, I tried to counterbalance the water with where I was putting my camera up front here to try and prevent that sliding feeling. But then, you know, put a few birds in here. You know, you get three or four birds in your pouch and you're, you're weighted far to the back anyways. And there was nothing I could do when I added weight that would prevent that yoke from feeling like it's going to ride up on me. And it was driving me crazy and it still drives me crazy. I couldn't figure out why. I don't know exactly why that was. But then what I did is I really started looking at this vest and this is where the fatal flaw comes in, in my opinion. If you look at the straps on the back of this vest and the yoke, you can kind of see that. I want to give you the up close, but look where the back pocket straps are attached into the yoke. They're attached in the front side. They're not attached back here at the back. Now, I want to give you a look at how that's different from my previous everyday vest. This is the old Orvis Pro vest. I've worn this across thousands of miles. Now I want you to see how the yoke system here and the pocket, so the pocket is hooked to the back on this. Notice that? And also at the bottom, not at the not up the, on top of the yoke. So that there therein lies the difference on this, in my opinion, and quite frankly, is the fatal flaw of the marsupial gear vest for me. This vest might work fine for others. And like I said, I can't complain about the construction. And I think that the folks over there that are making this gear, good folks. But they've missed out on something on this on this yoke system and this bird vest. Now, some of you would say, well, Brian, why don't you just tighten that waistband? Tighten it down so that it is like a backpack. Suck it up, buttercup. So I've got that sucker tight to me, right? I've got it tight to me. Again, I don't like walking this way. But if I were to do that, got the, got the waist belt tight to me, tight on my hips, so that I'm going to carry the quote unquote weight on my hips, right? The problem still is, watch, see the movement. When I pull down, when I add weight, it doesn't matter how much, it doesn't matter how tight these are, the belt is still pulling up and riding up. It doesn't matter. I can't tighten it enough to prevent it. Now, maybe if I had more of a bulge on top of the belt, I could stop it, but I would still feel that pull up. Not good. Now, I know that's nitpicking, but if you use gear the way I use, you're going to be nitpicky about your gear. And the bird vest, you know, again, is one of the most crucial pieces of gear because you wear it everywhere. Um, so for me, again, probably a fatal flaw um, in, in this vest. Let me just show you the difference here because some of you are going, that's going to happen with all vests. I don't care the yoke. Okay. All right. And by the way, I've just transitioned all of my stuff back over to this vest so it's already weighted. I've already got water in here. And again, I've worn this vest for a very long time across thousands of miles. So it's fairly well broken in, you can tell. But notice again, I'm loose here. I want to feel that looseness. It lets me feel free when I turn. Um, 
And so just to show you, when I pull down, quote unquote, and I add weight, and there's already my, I've already got my water bladder in here that's three quarters of the way full. When I pull down on this, when I pull down to simulate weight in that bag, look, there's no movement on the waist belt, none. No matter how, I can, I'm pulling as hard as I can. Y'all are, you know, this isn't me, this isn't a setup. I'm trying to show you what I'm feeling on this, on this vest versus the marsupial gear vest. So, simulating weight. Just shoving my hand as hard in the back as I can, you see zero movement on the waist belt. Where you see it pulling is here on my shoulders and chest. So, for me, that's the way this should feel. I want to feel free, and I do not want to feel that vest or that belt pulling up against me. Or, and also, in, in that regard, I don't want, eventually you get enough weight in that vest and the pocket starts hitting you from behind because you've rotated out of your yoke. I don't like that. I think again, that's the fatal flaw. So we've transitioned back to our old vest. I'm testing out a new iteration. Uh, part of the problem with having a vest is this old is all of the elastic wore off, wore out, it's all stretched out. I wasn't using most of it anyways. So I've got to replace a bunch of elastic bands now. This is the first version of the Orvis Pro Series vest. They discontinued this, so, you know, stay tuned. We'll be looking. Um, but anyways, uh, something I learned from using that marsupial vest is I prefer having, um, for the water bladder, I prefer having it come out the back of the vest instead of coming over my shoulder, which is where I used to have it coming. So right now I'm working on the length of hose, which I don't like where I'm at. I'm going to trim my hose down a little bit. This is all for my dog water, by the way. So I do like that I learned that um, from using uh, the marsupial gear vest. But I'm back to my Orvis vest. I have to replace some of the uh, loops. and. Uh, but for the most part, when I put this back on, it's like having an old friend back. Uh, shooting felt better, carrying felt better, and I wasn't the entire time in the field feeling like I needed to go, mm, because this sucker is locked in. Doesn't matter how hard I pull on the back, how hard I pull on the front, how many birds I stuff in here, this vest is locked in. For, and that's partly, and I certainly know this, that's partly because it's been across thousands and thousands of miles. Yes, sure, absolutely. But I gave a full year to uh, the marsupial vest. Just can't get quite down with it. But, man, you just fixed that. You just fixed that little issue there. Whew. Then you're really on to something. Anyways, that's my hot take. Uh, we're back to our old vest, and man, that's some cool faded stuff. Anyway, stay tuned for uh, more reviews. Got more testing coming up. I've been testing a new pair of boots. I'm liking those. Uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Follow us on social too if you really want. Anyways, off to go do some more. Uh, Breaking leaves.